A new report could help make the case that rural ambulance services are facing significant challenges and they need to find better stable funding, perhaps from the state. We learn more about the report. 7 News reporter Sandy Torres. The Carthage Area Rescue Squad says it's always ready to go and going farther. Recently, it's been responding to calls in the Harrisville area after the Harrisville Rescue Squad stopped its service in May due to a lack of staffing. This means longer response times. We keep trying, but it's it's always going to be that 30, 40 minutes, and sometimes it could be between life or death situation. Emergency rescue squads like Carthage say the problem across rural EMS agencies is a lack of volunteers and not enough funding. Carthage Area Rescue Squad says it's trying its best to keep three or four crews on at a time. It's devastating, really. Um, and until we can get the funding to really have smaller agencies be able to uphold employees, it's the best that we can do for now. A recent report from the New York State Tug Hill Commission backs up what rescue squads like Carthage are facing. Rising costs, a lack of staffing, and declining numbers of volunteers. It's stressing out towns and villages across upstate New York. The commission says this report is meant to weigh in on conversations happening right now and could lead to state legislation that would help EMS agencies. The more people at the table, I think the more creative the, the ideas can be. Having towns and the, and the ambulance services in the county and you know maybe some of the nonprofit associations that help work on some of this together to talk it through. Manoski says EMS agencies seem to be thankful that the report has been done and hopefully can lead to answers facing rural EMS squads. Sandy Torres, 7 News.